Hey, how's it going guys? It's me. Sorry for the long video delay. It's just I've been feeling sick for the past like month and uh, and now I have a cold or something, but I wanted to do a video where I wanted to talk about my new build and as you can see there's the boxes. And I am working on like a more in-depth like benchmarking kind of video where I show off gameplay with my uh, Elgato card. It's actually hooked up to my second HDMI port going to my computer and I have the USB port just plugged into one here. Just so I can actually benchmark so I don't, so I can always get like a actual legit benchmark so I don't have to use another computer. So I'm basically stress testing the computer, but anyways. I have, as you can see on my computer, I got a little RGB lights in it. Now, that is attached to the motherboard. I cannot remove those. I'm not really like a an RGB kind of guy, but um, anyways, I'm going to show you all my new stuff that I got over these months. So, I guess first of all, I'll start with the little SSD, and this is an M.2 SSD. But I do have a regular SSD in there. It's a Kingston uh, 240 gig that I'm using to save my records off of. But here's my Intel SSD 6. If the damn thing would focus. There we go. Now it's M.2 NVMe. Uh, I don't know where it says that. It is it is an NVMe. Like it looks like. A... Come on, focus. Anyways, it, it looks like a... Uh what an NVMe uh, thing would look like, like an SSD. Sorry for the stutter, it's just... But anyways, moving on to the next thing is my new processor, the i7-7700K. And so far, this processor is freaking, like, awesome for editing. Like, this. everything's so responsive. Games are just lightning fast. And uh, before I continue, uh, this video is going to be non-edited because, like I said, I feel sick. And even if I try and go to my computer to edit, my nose will start running. So I have to run to the washroom. And I, I just use, like, toilet paper and just stick it in my nose. And I don't want to keep running. And So I'm going to start editing videos once I feel better. But anyways, this is my cooler for my, uh, my CPU. It is the Cooler Master... Uh, Hyper 212 X Turbo, so the Turbo Edition, it comes with, the regular one is the Hyper uh, 212 Evo, which is one fan, but mine came with a second one. So basically, I have a two fan setup. And it's 120 millimeter fans. It does work with LGA 1151, which is this guy's uh, socket type. So it does work on the 7700K, it works really well. Just in case you guys were uh, wondering, uh, it works on these sockets, if it would focus, come on. 2011, 2011-3, 1366, 1156, 1155, 1150. Now, LGA-1150 is for like the 4790K or any fourth gen processor. And it works with AMD FM2+, FM2, FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, and AM2. I'm, that's funny. I didn't even stutter while reading all those. That's that's funny. But anyways, here's my video card. And that's what I'm using right now. I actually bought this a while back before I bought my motherboard and all my new CPU. I had this in my computer way before. But this is my computer, or my video card. It is the... GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabyte edition edition VR ready. Uh, it's funny because I don't use a VR. I just use a freaking 2011 monitor that still holds up to today. And finally, my my motherboard. It's the ASUS Strix Z270E gaming motherboard. And right there is where the RGB LED is. So that's what you're seeing. Is basically that. I just left it to a rainbow pattern. I don't really, I don't really like tinkering. If it works, I'll just leave it on. But anyways, it supports. Oh, the Z270 chip. Why don't I tap my screen? There we go. Should have done that before. Anyways, it supports Z270 chipset. It supports the core, which is the core i7 or the core i3 or core i5. 
It has Optane memory. Oh, didn't this just release? Uh, Intel Optane um, SSDs. I think they're that you pair them with hard drives and they um, speed up the hard drives or something. I think I don't know. It has NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire and ASUS Aurora Sync. I think this is like the the RGB. Like you can sync everything to like be one color or something. I don't know. And it's got 3D printing friendly technology. I don't know. So basically, if you look on the picture right there, I think you can 3D print like a, a custom logo and then you can put it on your computer. But I don't have a 3D printer. My school does, but I doubt they're going to let me use it. I'm just going to put all these back. And anyways, my monitor speakers didn't change. Uh, Everything's still the same, but anyways, if you like this little build video, oh, there we go. And basically, yeah, so if you did like this video, you can leave a thumbs up. I can actually show you, let me load up my editor before I go, what video I'm editing. So just give you a little preview. Uh, I, don't, I don't care. Okay, so I got... Uh, so I basically, yeah, here's my new, new logo I made. So it'll be Jay's Tech is in Vlogs, and it'll show all my parts going by. And I put, but how is it performing games? And then I have Modern Warfare Remastered running, and as you can see in the top corner, sorry it's out of focus, but I have a frame rate counter. Because on the Elgato card, it, let, it just records the monitor, or whatever's on screen, so I can leave a frame rate counter and actually get a, a really good, uh, benchmark, so... Anyways, if you guys like this video, uh, you can comment, like, subscribe, whatever, and I guess I will see you in the next video once I am feeling better.